the UK Prime Minister. Well, he's gotten himself in a bit of a pickle. Yes, Richie Sunak is facing the biggest challenge of his premiership as former Conservative Party divisions over hard or soft Brexit mm, are re-emerging just as he appeared to be on the cusp of a deal with the European Union to end the protracted row over the Northern Ireland Protocol yes the Northern Ireland Protocol which was signed, sealed and delivered by Alexander Boris the Fethful Johnson oh well cracks are emerging though a sign that a deal was imminent emerged last Thursday when the Prime Minister held secret yes top secret talks with the Democratic Unionist Party into the small hours of Friday kind of a party you see with EU Brexit negotiators also summoning representatives from all EU states for a briefing opponents in the wings and the cabinet at the weekend opponents of uh, well a fed fudge stepped out of the shadows with uh, well Alexander Boris the Bethel Johnson the one who wrote the original deal well, well not wrote it but he sold it well Simon Clark the foreman leveling up secretary Jacob Rees-Mogg and Suella Braverman who happens to be a member of a cult and got struck off in New York hmm? <laughs> all professionals you know and all expressing reservations some professionals I am well well can Sunak do a deal without the DUP and the European Research Group kind of a think tank but there is Marc Francois so I think we could question that well Downing Street wants the DUP on board but the content of the rumoured deal and the timetable may not suit the party no <laughs> last week the homophobe Sammy Wilson uh, well the DUP MP uh, for Issa Antrim he said that the party would not return to Stormont if the North or if Northern Ireland remained abandoned to the EU <laughs> well the EU is not going to agree to the end of a well the application of the EU law in Northern Ireland no as it is the bedrock of which the well protocol is built and means that no new border is erected between Northern Ireland and uh, Ireland or the Republic yeah what to do with a Good Friday Agreement commentators believe that Sir Geoffrey Donaldson wants to return to Stormont but that well the tough anti-protocol stance has boosted the party's fortune and will be a useful tool and so will he in the local elections in May but what has been agreed so far well nobody's actually saying like I said it's secret the secrecy around surrounding the uh, well the negotiations has been extreme for fear of leaks and one source with knowledge of the talk said that they knew that as soon as details leaked there would be a feeding frenzy of piranhas on both sides for the pros and cons oh I don't like that oh that's okay well that could kill the deal at birth the green lanes yeah green lanes red lanes no I am going to work no there are three main issues the application of EU law in Northern Ireland to ensure no return to of uh, the hard border with the Republic of Ireland the role of the European Court of Justice and the checks on goods crossing the Irish Sea the DUP and the British government want goods from Great Britain to flow as they did before Brexit or maybe they shouldn't I'll put their cross in the wrong uh, box but they did now we've all got to live with it so definitely we're not any paperwork 
arguing the protocol mandated the preservation of the UK internal market. The EU had insisted detailed customs paperwork to be completed for all goods travelling from Great Britain to Northern Ireland to enable it to well to track products. They don't want British rubbish, no, or toxic food entering the European Union the single market. For companies like Marks and Spencers though. <laughs> well they have argued this is uh, completely unnecessary as uh, electronic stock taking allows them to see what goods are on what shelves at which location in real time but there's nothing stopping those goods crossing the border because there is no checkpoints and there can't be not if we are to preserve the good friday agreement why we got the northern iron protocol in the first place yes sources say that the EU has agreed, um, well, a compromise involving, well, a bit of a car vows uh, for all goods destined for supermarkets, corner shops, canteens, in schools and hospitals, prisons and, well, similar end settings. Details of a, well, settlement on intermediary goods that could end up in finished products. No. They don't want those exported to the EU. And it's all still being uh, negotiated. No agreement there yet, no. But the European Court of Justice, well, this has long been a red line for the so called Brexit Ultras. Spartans, they like to call themselves. Or the DUP. Including veteran Eurosceptic Bill Cash. Well, he should be put out to sea. And the deputy head of the European Research Group, oh God, David Jones. But is there a fix? Mm. Well, negotiators think there is. By removing the ability of the European Union to go straight to the European Court of Justice. But they won't agree to that. No. Well, they say if it is sees that there is an infringement or infraction of the trade rules instead. Oh, an arbitration panel instead of going straight to the European Court of Justice might be a solution but like I say I doubt they'll agree to that but it's be involving Northern Ireland and EU judges would be the first port of call in a dispute and where there's money there is a writ Northern Ireland courts could also be involved in disputes so it could get extremely complicated and especially over, well, sanitary and phytosanitary controls on food and agri-products that are, well, evolved uh, competencies. And since Adolf Cap Warlock, uh, Walking Benny Farth and Jacob Rees-Mogg scrapped the checks on imports into the United Kingdom last year, well, any old rotten food can enter the UK. They don't want that to find its way into the EU, no. Well, application of EU law in Northern Ireland. The EUG claims, or well, the ERG claims, the European Research Group, that Northern Ireland is already drifting away from the rest of the UK with more than 400 pieces of legislation. Now applying that there. That do not apply in the United Kingdom. And this will get worse. Is there a fix? Well, Peter Hayne has suggested a Norway style D. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen either. Giving Stormont ministers an official role on a committee that will assess and potentially amend draft EU legislation that impacts upon the trade in Northern Ireland. So I suppose we'll just have to wait and see what happens over the next few days and weeks. Well, it appears on the face of it, we might have to wait even longer than that, since the whole thing might go to a wall. Not wall, wall, you know, to the wall. Yeah. I hope not wall, no. No, 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 be silly. So, what do you reckon? Please leave it in the comments down below. Has Richie Sunak hit that wall? Because I think so. 
I won't be a bit surprised. But maybe. Maybe he sold out Northern Ireland as in the DUP. <laughs> that ain't going to go down too well. That ain't going to go back to Stormont if that's the case. No. The whole thing is a mess, wouldn't you say? Leave it in the comments down below. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Well, the whole thing gives me diarrhea. So the secret word of today is laxatives. Yeah. Leave that in the comments down below. Bombs away. Laxatives. <laughs> oh dear. I've been keeping our boys regular since 1945. No? Okay. Well, time for me to go. But we do. Well, we we'd like to get involved you to get involved. We're doing a rewilding here in France. We're applying a thousand trees on two hectares of land if you want to be involved with that. There's a GoFundMe link down below but down below. And uh, basically you buy a tree and uh, we'll plant a tree on your behalf, but also put a sign and what have you. It becomes your tree basically. And um uh okay also we'd be in memory of a loved one you know or pet or whatever also we're planting or planting making bird box planting bird box <laughs> we're making bird boxes um oh hedgehog houses and bat boxes etc that as well so it's all about the habitat you see but animals anyway it's time for me to go because it's getting late you know and last night when my live show was well, i think a bit until three o'clock oh no oh well that's uh don't forget laxatives bombs away laxatives yeah you keep the boys regular since 1945. Oh, da 